in this apartment building behind me in a small room with paintbrushes and canvases. One resident is proving just how much opportunity, just how much creativity can open up when one's basic needs are met. I've been doing art for as long as I can remember. Pretty much put my head in a different place. Despite being a lifelong passion, Aubrey Getz has not been able to paint or draw for a long time. When you're out there, it feels like you're existing and you're trying to just like make sure that that stays a thing, I guess. Like, like you don't even have time for that in your head, really. Because until six months ago, Aubrey was homeless. It was my first winter inside again, so that was really cool. Like it was In October, yeah. Aubrey moved into Blue Heron Place, a permanent supportive housing location through Partnership Health, the Pravarello Center, Housing Authority, and Homeward. The residents at Blue Heron have access to counseling, recovery groups, and now, thanks to Aubrey, a community art room. The homelessness and the art, like, it's, it touches home because they're, I'm not going to lie, it's not the prettiest out there. You can just make pretty stuff out of not being there anymore, I guess, or just, you know, helping things be pretty again, I guess. After. She started the art room as a way to give residents, like herself, a hobby and an escape from their past. Because, you know, it's got to be housing first, but it can't be housing only. David Quidrochi, the community organizer at Blue Heron, was eager to help Aubrey with the art room. You know, um, Aubrey brought whatever she was struggling with in here, and she knows the way out of that. Like, she knows we need art, we need community, we need to build together and have projects. Since starting the space, Aubrey has already sold one of her pieces and participated in a First Friday event. Since being able to slow down and have time for that again, yeah, <laughs> it's been really cool. The room needs donated art supplies, and Aubrey hopes to collaborate with community partners to continue to show projects made by the Blue Heron residents. It's amazing what going home can feel like, you know what I mean? Like all of us actually have somewhere to be home and now the community can see what, I guess, we, we can do together. You can drop off any art supplies to the Blue Heron Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. This art room is indicative of people getting their voice back, getting their capacity and ability to create. I don't know, Aubrey's helping out a lot more uh, people than just herself. In Missoula, Claire Peterson, MTN News.